all in our first week i sent you some work for you to do i hope you managed to do it so uh, this is just a lesson for you to go through your work and make sure that that you did the right thing um that work was you were supposed to do it on your own get the answers on your own then thereafter maybe you can be able to consult the teacher and find out um, the areas that were a little bit challenging for you to do um, for now I just want us to go through the work so get your exercise book uh, this, remember this is the week one work the one that I gave you to do week one work it was about reading the story about Shimoni Caves and then thereafter answering the questions so uh, I'll be going through the questions also assuming that you managed to uh, read the story very well you understood and answered those questions so this one is uh, just a repetition of the lesson that we posted earlier on the Amano online learning so this is just a video to show you whatever that you are supposed to have written in your exercise book so get your exercise book I'll, uh, I'll be a little bit faster so where, where you feel like you need me to repeat a little bit you can just send me questions your questions or you pause or you rewind the video so that you can be able to get exactly what um, uh, you are supposed to have written in your book so shimonikas so all of us read the story and we managed to answer those questions so let's see some of the questions uh, and how you're supposed to answer those questions though before that I have some quick questions just uh, to see to check if you understood the story very well question one I know these questions are not in are not in your textbooks but these are just the questions that I got after reading the story which group of the writers school visited the Shimoni which group from the writers school visited Shimoni Number two, what tells you that Shimoni was visited by many tourists? What tells you that Shimoni was visited by many tourists? Number three, how did the writer's group get down into the caves? Number four, what type of animals live inside the caves? Number five, name the things that the writer saw when he was at the beach. So I'll be looking at, we'll be looking at some of the answers to these questions. I know uh, you've tried to figure out some of the answers to these five questions, but don't worry, we'll be looking at some of, the, some of their answers. And if you are able to answer them, well and good. So just check your answers. Let's go through it again. Our question one says, which group from the writer's school visited Shimoni? From the story we are told, it was the nature club, members of nature club. We have different clubs in schools, talk of, talk of debating club, journalism and so forth. So we have also, we had, this school also had a club called nature club. So it was the only group that visited the Shimoni. Question two, what tells you that Shimoni was visited by many tourists? From the story, we are told that there was a convoy of vehicles. A convoy meaning we had very many vehicles heading to Shimoni caves and also many vehicles took tourists to the caves so this tells us that Shimoni uh, was visited by many tourists uh, number three how did the writers group get down into the caves what did they use to get down into the caves from the story we are told they used a stairway a stairway is just like a staircase a stairway to go down into um, the caves number four what type of animals live inside the caves from the story of course you saw you read somewhere some of the animals that were found inside the caves and uh, this is what what he expected you to write out to have written there we have the birds the birds were the animals that were found inside the cave. Then last number five, name the things that the writer saw when he was at the beach. What are some of the things that he saw when he was at the beach? The, question, the answer is uh, the writer saw Wasini Island fishermen. They were able, he, were, he was able to see uh, the Wasini Island fishermen. 
So let's let's now look at some of the questions that you wrote them in your books. And question one reads, as you can be able to see on the screen, how do we know that the writer was a member of a club? How can you be able to tell this? The writer says, we members of nature club. We meaning the writer included. Look at the word we. We members of nature club. The writer is included here. So that tells you that he was a member of nature club. Also, the writer says he was among the members of nature club. It is written in the story. It is there that he was a member of the nature club. So that, that one, those two uh, points are reasons enough to, to, uh, to say that this uh, writer was a member of nature club. Number two, did the group travel on tarmac all the way to Shimoni? How do you know? From the story we are told, these people did not just travel on tarmac road all the way because they branched off to a 15 kilometer road. So the answer should be no. The writer says that they branched off to a 15 kilometer road. So meaning it wasn't tarmacked all the way to Shimoni. Question three, what shows that the pupils were frightened when they arrived at the caves? What shows that? From the story again we are told, they held on to one another. You see, when you are holding on to one another, to some extent it shows that you are kind of like scared. So they were frightened, you know, when they hold on to each other. Also, we are told they imagined, they imagined that some awful creatures could creep out of the caves. You know, in that caves you now they are a little bit. It's a little bit dark. I know in a dark place you can't be able to see very many things. So they imagined maybe something, something funny would come out of the caves. You no, know? so that's you no. Know, that imagination alone tells us that they were frightened. Number four, it was difficult to walk inside the caves because why was it difficult? We had several options for number four, A, B, C, and D, but C is the right option. The caves were covered with mud and salt. Of course, you know very well, you can't be able to walk properly at a place that is full of mud. Maybe you fall down. I know, know that the mud itself will not make you walk properly. So that this this is also the reason uh, why they were unable to walk properly uh, through this uh, through this cave. Number five: What forms pillars? What formed pillars that were inside the caves? So there were these pillars. What formed them? What formed the pillars that were inside these caves? For the answer: deposit of limestones. The limestones, you know, those deposits were the ones that were forming uh, the pillars in those caves. Also, deposit of limestone on the protruding rock that the ones that formed uh, the pillars uh, of these caves. Number six, what did the metal hooks in the caves remind us of? Remember the metal, the metal hooks that were inside the caves. Remember them very well. I know you can, you can be able to remember them very, very well. So, what do they remind us of? They remind us of the slave trade, and also the place where slaves were tethered. Tethered means they were tied. They were tied on those hooks. No use. They were you. Uh, they, they they were using. Um, the ropes, the ropes that would, they would tie those slaves on those hooks. They were just being tethered like animals. So the slaves were being tethered inside the caves. Inside the caves and those hooks, they were being tied. No, they were being tied on those hooks. Number seven, mention one of the ways the local people use the caves. One, they use it for security purposes, meaning hiding away from the enemy. Of course, I've said that, to hide from enemies. And also these caves are used uh, as place of worship or shrines where people could go and talk to their creator. 
Um, number eight, which one thing about the caves affected the writer the most? From the story we are told, the slave trade, actually when, when the tour guide was explaining about the slave trade, you could see the motion that know that 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 it was that the the tour guide would carry it was showing so the slave trade how people were being mistreated in those days they were being mistreated like animals like wild animals you know you no know, like something that is being owned and you can be able to do whatever that you want so these were some of the emotion things that uh, you know that affected the writer the most number nine how are the caves useful to the country today now from the story you remember you know we had there is several, several tourists going to the caves so what does that now show the caves are a tourist attraction they will be able to attract the tourists no tourists would, would love to come and see what used to happen in those days so the caves are tourist attraction then also, tourists visit the caves and pay money to the country. And you know, you know, tourism is also one of the one of the activity that will bring the country some money, some money that they can be able to use to improve their economy. So, if the tourists visit the country, then they will be able to pay money to the country. And then, last number ten, which of these statements is true according to the passage? We had we had like seven. Uh, Four statements there, A, B, C, and D, but the right one is C. The caves are habitat for different types of birds. Of course, you, you are told but were inside those caves. I hope you'll be able to do the correction of the course questions. Where you went wrong, please, you can be able to rewind the video so that you can be able to get the answers very, very well. Those are the answers that you are expected to have are written down in your book. Thank you very much for listening to me. Let's meet next so that we can be able to discuss more about that the same same unit about uh, Shimoni Caves. There are very many other things that we are likely to discuss. So until next time, 